monumental success of Chandrayaan 3 that we all got to watch was celebrated across the world. It became the first spacecraft ever to land in the unexplored lunar south pole and it achieved that huge milestone on a very, very nimble budget, 620 crores. Absolutely. We'll tell you more about this story. And to tell you more, may I please invite CNN News 18's Anand Nursiman on the stage. Uh, Anand, can we please have you on the dais along with the Honorable Union Minister for Science and Technology, MOSPMO, uh, Dr. Jitendra Singh. Ladies and gentlemen, a huge round of applause, please. Ladies and gentlemen, this is a story that makes us proud. If it's the deep shaft miners in Uttarkashi who said that we can go bury to the deepest uh, corners of uh, Bhumi and extract people and save lives, then uh, the other side we have Team Isro which is saying even the sun is within our reach with Aditya L1 and what they have achieved. So the team is here but before we call them up on stage, I have the Honorable Minister who has been very kind to spend some time and he's been also uh, backing them there is a short AV that we'd like to play, which is a tribute, a celebration, and for us also to reflect on what we as a nation can achieve, our scientists can achieve, our uh, team at ISRO can achieve. Have a look at this, please. The lunar South Pole has eluded many countries. But then, the Indian Space Research Organization came along with its Chandrayaan-3 mission. Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And made the impossible possible. After learning from the failures of Chandrayaan-2, the team at ISRO, led by Chairman S. Somnath, worked meticulously for years, planning each and every detail, right down to the T. Then, on the 14th of July, India's most powerful rocket vaulted Chandrayaan-3 into the sky. The textbook launch was followed by 40 days of getting closer and closer to the dark side of the moon. On the 23rd of August, India and the world's eyes were on the ISRO control room in Bengaluru for a historic touchdown. All four stages of the powered descent went off flawlessly, paving the way for the Vikram lander to find the best spot and land safely on the lunar surface. And with that, India became the fourth country to land on the moon and the first to reach the lunar south pole. We have achieved soft landing on the moon. Yes. India is we on the moon. As celebrations erupted at Isro, a billion hearts swelled with pride. Yichar, Bharat mein nai urja, naya viswas, nai chetana ka hai. The hard work of the engineers and scientists behind this historic mission has helped open new doors to lunar exploration. The space agency has proved that the sky is not the limit. CNN News 18 recognizes Team ISRO for their outstanding achievement in India's space odyssey. Ladies and gentlemen, we'll be very honest with you. This is a special achievement award which we had to give. Indian of the Year this year would have been incomplete had we not celebrated the achievement. May I please request the Honorable Chairperson of ISRO, S. Somnath Ji, along with the Mission Director Chandrayaan Mutuvel Ji to please come up on stage. Please give them a standing ovation. This is applauding the efforts of our scientists. He leads the team, he is the mission director Chandrayaan and they have achieved what many thought Bharat can never do, it will never be possible. Sir, first I am going to request you to kindly present this award. Mutuel ji, please come.
So, Mike. It's their simplicity, isn't it, ladies and gentlemen? These are the people who, can, who have said that Mars, Moon and the Sun, nothing is uh, uh, out of our reach. So, Somna Ji, Namaskaram, thank you very, very much. Mutuvel sir, Parthagal, Manakam. May I ask you, at what, at what point, there was a lot of hard work after the failure the last time around, three years of real solid work. When was it that you had the sleepless night? I never had. <laughs> See, the whole uh, point is in understanding what went wrong and our, all our time was spent on that part. And once you have a uh, clue of what it is, but you know, uh, hmm. bringing back the sample from moon to understand what went wrong is not possible. Yeah. So we were working on hypothesis and then trying to cre create how, what could have gone wrong. And we have a reasonable understanding of it. We looked at various scenarios on how to understand this the miss that happened in the past and how to correct it. And we went through a series of simulation, testing, etc. And once you had the confidence to do it, uh, as, as I came in, uh, it was just one and a half years, but then we made it a point to understand that, that the whole crux of that issue is fully understood. Then only we are taking the chance. Hmm. And that chance was taken with full confidence. Then we have no worry. Fantastic. Mutuvel, sir? Are you so quiet with your team also, or this is just because you are here at CNN News 18, Indian of the Year? First of all, uh, it's a great honor to be acknowledged by uh, CNN. Sir, the CNN honor is ours, <laughs> that we get a chance to acknowledge you in our lifetime. Thank you so much for that. And as, as we told, uh, it is a very challenging, Chandrayaan 3 mission is a very challenging, starting from uh, identification of root cause of Chandrayaan 2 lander failure and uh, 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 reconfiguration of lander with more robustness in all the systems to autonomously handle wider range of dispositions to achieve the safe and soft landing and also conceptualization and conducting of several special tests and exhaustive simulations which has uh, really predicted the failures and we have successfully overcome it. Sir, government is here so let me ask you, did they tell you budget nahi hai, no budget or did you decide that we will make sure that we reduce the budget? Ah, on this topic, I think uh, we must uh, thank our Honourable Minister. I can't, I can't ever demand uh, better support than uh, Honourable Jitendra Singh Ji in terms of our support, the, the, the patronage, and also from our Honourable Minister, who is uh, our Prime Minister himself. Hmm. What type of support that we have been getting, and you have seen it speaking. And uh, uh, the, all through the difficult times, he was with us. So thank uh, so much for our Honourable Prime Minister and also our Minister for this. And post that, I think you would have watched what happened. See, the whole space sector is now unfurled out in terms of the long-term vision by him. For next 25 years, look at that. I think this is the, the support. I can't ask more. Sir, I, I want to ask you, Chandrayaan Mission Director, you must have received at least 100 calls, if not more, to say, come work with us, you name your price. What makes you continue to work with ISRO? No, it is, it's a passion. It, it drives us. In fact, this was my dream company during my college and uh, that is what it drives us. So, nobody can lure you away from where you are right now? No, it is a conscious decision right from engineering. So, this is something very unique organization which, uh, which is a result-oriented organization and uh, review systems all are transparent and this is what uh, we like, every one of us like to work in this room. Sir, can I give you a hug? What sentiment? Awesome sentiment, sir. This is the sentiment that we need everywhere. Now, Dr. Jitendra Singh, one thing you have done and I have to thank you for it is to open space technology, Srihari Kota, ISRO to media, to public to come and see what is a landmark event for us in, in human history. How did that happen? And thank you for that. Yeah, before that, uh, I must uh, add to what Somnath was saying. He's being very modest. It's been a very cost-effective mission, mm. just about 600 crore. Ah, correct. So it's uh, hardly a fraction of the cost that the missions by the other countries have uh, so, budgeted, so brief one unko diya ki wo unhone cost kam kar diya. Se main no, I think the, it's part of the, it's absolutely indigenous and our human resource was always very rich. What we lacked was possibly an enabling milieu which is to be provided by the, by the policy makers or at the level of the political leadership which happened after Prime Minister Modi came in. 
and that is exactly what relates to what you asked the opening of the space sector or the, uh, the, the media very fondly described as the unlocking of the space so earlier on they were working in isolation in silos just a team of 10 but this time chandrayaan there were 10000 spectators more than 1000 uh, media persons there right there and there was a the whole of nation got involved and you must have seen almost every indian was glued to the television set i told sovnath i said this is the, this this is a scene uh, a site which has a, only one parallel when india plays against pakistan <laughs> <laughs> and, and not only that overnight i mean there were we have seen times when chairman isro was hardly known even in the daddy circles now he's become a celebrity. I would say he's Shah Rukh Khan of the space. <laughs> so, mind you, my, since, since we are together, you know, most of the places, one has to embarrassingly step back while traveling with him because he's so much crowded by these selfie haunters. <laughs> so, that is, I think, in, 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 a, in a positive way, that has given the nation a sense of belonging, owning these space missions. And if you see the archive pictures of Vikram Sarabhai, the founding father of ISRO, carrying the launcher on the carriage of the bicycle, you would then realize how much deprived they were of the resources. So we were never de deprived of the human resource, of the talent, of the potential, or commitment, as is being said by him. What we lacked was an overall, and now it's open for the public private participation. There's a huge investment of industry. If you talk statistically, because that's what the world today expects. We were just one startup, just one startup. It's embarrassing to say, about four or five years back. Yes. Today we are more than 190. 190 startups in and, the space uh, sector. In the space sector. Some of them first of their kind in the world. The, f the earlier ones have turned into entrepreneurs. And in this year itself, beginning, I mean, I'm talking of the financial year, beginning from 1st April to 31st of December, there has been an investment of more than 1,000 crore by private startups. Wow. So there's huge pooling of both the financial resources as well as the knowledge source happening. And that is what has now placed India as a frontline nation. And thirdly, as now when we are celebrating this, I think this three successive, three successive success stories, which I would say, uh, is a trilogy of uh, uh, ISRO's uh, success. They are first of their kind in one way or the other. So when pa Prime Minister Modi talks of Amrit Kaal and India's ascent to that pedestal, that, that ascent has already begun via space technology. So the take For example, Chandrayaan, you see the, the hmm. most fascinating uh, fact about Chandrayaan 3 is that ISRO was founded in 1969. Now, if you go back to the archives in the newspaper, 1969 is the year remembered because that was the time when America landed first human being on the surface of moon. Moon. The moon landing happened. Neil Armstrong. Yeah. And that was the time we were just establishing ISRO. But today, it is ISRO which has landed the southern pole of the moon even before they could do. They could do it. And, and we've achieved success with Mangalyan and also with Aditya L1, which others have Absolutely. not been able to. Mangalyan has been there for a record number of time, more than mm -hmm. the expected lifespan of it. And the Aditya, which is now uh, yeah. uh, the, be, reached its uh, first destination, is, is, the, is, is a unique of its kind because it's going to, gather the, it's going to discover the mysteries of the Earth-Sun connect and, and explore all those... Uh, probabilities, the possibilities which could be both advantage as well as disadvantage, the, the solar storms, the solar phenomenon, sure. all those things which the world is waiting. Now, actually the world is waiting for our cues. Very, so, very, very rightly said, I, I have to wind up, but Mutuvel sir, I want to ask you, what next for you? There is a superstar who did Mangalyan, there is a superstar who is amidst us. Would you want him to do Chandrayaan? <laughs> so no, sir, you ask him. <laughs> I would like to... Uh, no, no, you p p hold it on the mic. You don't need to be... Uh, I, I'll stand next to you. Yeah, now ask him. <laughs> sir, Sharp, sir, please come. <laughs> <laughs> so, it's not about making Chandrayaan. They want to take a picture with you, sir. <laughs> we can have the two Shahrukh Khans. Thank you. We can have the two Shahrukh Khans standing <laughs> on <to> the side. <laughs> sir, please stand. Please.
thank you thank you for being thank you thank you so much sir thank you <laughs> ladies and gentlemen big round of applause for mutuel sir somnath ji and the entire team isro and of course dr jitendra singh thank you very very much